What is going on, everybody? <laughs> it's Garrett, Tears to Joy Ministries.org. Um, this video is going to be called How Long Does Deliverance Have to Take? Part 6. Okay. This video will be real short. Here are some more true stories. Many of you know that my favorite Christian singer, my, my favorite Christian male singer is Tone. Now, Tone went public a few years ago that he was battling homosexuality. And then we learned that he had been battling this uh, since a very young age. Now, Tone has probably sold millions of CDs to Christians all over the world. Then he went public that he was battling against homosexuality. And this was quite a while ago. I mean, this is like, I don't know, just guessing about 10, 11 years ago. But he had been battling this evil since a much younger age. So how long does deliverance take to get? If we're battling gossiping, if we're battling pornography, if we're battling alcohol, or if we're battling the demons of homosexuality, how long does deliverance have to take? Well, Tone still has not been delivered, and we're talking about years and years and years and years. So we want to be careful when we're preaching to other Christians. Don't tell them Jesus is going to deliver you in one week. Don't tell them that Jesus will get rid of your porn addiction in one month. That might be true and it might not. Tone is still battling all of this evil. Now listen to this. Here is another true story. I have a Christian brother, a Christian friend in England. And he has some wonderful gifts from God. Just some amazing gifts from God. It, it's... It's shocking to see some of his gifts. It, uh, it, it is shocking. Well, he's battling the demons of homosexuality also. And this has been going on for many years. In fact, he's confided in me that he's been battling homosexuality from a very young age. So... Jesus decides to deliver some people real quickly, even in five seconds. Other people, he decides, sorry about that, that was my cell phone. Other people, he decides to deliver maybe in five weeks. Other people, maybe three years. Other people, like, like my special friend in Romania, She's been battling cancer for 11 years. And other people, like Tone, like the famous Christian musician, famous singer Dennis Jernigan, he's been battling homosexuality for a very, very long time. And my little, my little, my little Christian brother in England, he's been battling homosexuality for a very, very long time. So, Jesus decides when he will deliver you from your battles, from your addictions, from the evil, from the flesh, from the demons. Jesus will decide. So relax. Relax in the Lord. I know we all want to be delivered tonight. I know we all want to be free right away. I know we all want the suffering to stop. I understand that just as well as you do, but relax. If you're still battling evil, if you're still battling some addictions, rest in the Lord. He has a different plan for everybody. One last time, my favorite male singer, Tone, and Dennis Jernigan, most of you heard of Dennis Jernigan, at least most of you I hope have heard of him, incredible music, and, and my buddy in England, 
my, my little Christian brother in England. These are three incredible singers, incredible musicians, incredible artists. These, uh, they have some incredible gifts from God, even shocking, amazing gifts from God, yet they're still battling this evil. Their deliverance has not yet showed up yet. <laughs> Jesus has not delivered them yet. It doesn't mean God doesn't love them because God loves them just as much as his other children. It doesn't mean God doesn't care about them. Of course God cares about them. If you're still battling evil tonight, it doesn't mean that, that God just doesn't adore you. He does adore you. God adores you God cherishes you. You are super, super important to God. Your whole life is. Every little thing about you is extremely important to God. All it means is Jesus hasn't delivered you yet. That's all it means. Some deliverances come fast. Some come slow. Some come much, much slower and some children of God never get delivered from a specific battle. Some of them never get delivered from a specific addiction and they die and go to heaven. Jesus does something differently with everybody. God loves you. God adores you. And God cherishes you very, very much.